there's plenty of right ways to remove a pop rivet, but there is definitely a wrong way. I'm going to show you what that is, and I'll show you how I remove these. Now, how aluminum pop rivet works is there is a hole drilled in the material or materials you're attempting to hold together. The rivet is pressed into that hole, and there's a steel nail-type end on the rivet that's pushed into the rivet tool, and you squeeze the handle. Once the handle is squeezed, there's a small ball on the other end that takes that soft aluminum, collapses it together, so it'll hold the pieces of the material together. The mandrel snaps off in the tool, and you're done. The rivet is holding it permanently in place. Now, the common mistake here is just to grab a drill bit and drill out the rivet. The problem with that is two things. One, the steel going through the rivet is hard and the aluminum is soft. So as soon as that bit makes contact with it, it'll push off to the side into the aluminum and that which leads to your second problem. You have a really good chance of oblonging out the hole and if you're looking to reattach those materials together, you'll need an oversized rivet to do so. And sometimes you just can't do that. Rivets need a fairly precise hole to help the aluminum expand and hold on the entire surface available. If you oblong it, you won't have that material available to do that. Now the way to break a rivet apart is to get a drift and drive out the little nail and the little ball end out the other side. Shouldn't be very difficult to do. Once you're done with that, get a drill bit that's a little bit bigger than the size of the hole that the drift went into and start to drill it. As you are slowly drilling that aluminum, if you cock the drill bit a little bit, it will pull the head completely off of it. Once you've done that, all you gotta do is just drive the rest of the rivet back through the backside and you're done. The pieces will come apart. You'll have the same exact size hole that you had before and it's good. You can put another rivet back in there the same size. The whole idea here is not to just drill blindly through there, oblong or increase the size of the hole and have to change a different size of rivet when you try to attach it back to place the next time. So that's the quickest and easiest way to do it. It doesn't take a lot of effort. The aluminum is soft. It comes apart pretty quickly. If you got any questions, leave them down below.